Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. John back with more Mars Anomalies. We're looking at a crescent-shaped craft, pull boxes and scrap in Ulysses Rupes on Mars. The high photograph is called Rough Terrain, exposed from under smooth mantle. And you can find the link to this page below. Acquired recently on the 16th of November 2018, taken at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and we'll be looking at anomalies cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low res JPEG and we'll be checking out the anomalies in this dark region. At the time of this video no high rise or CTX photograph for this region had been loaded and we're checking out anomalies in this smooth flat terrain over here. Also we'll have a look at some of the other anomalies and artifacts in the region. So the crescent shaped craft as I'd like to call it, measuring about 8 meters across by about 12 meters long. It's got uh, some symmetry and geometry to it. Got these rounded sides on either side coming up at uh, two equal angles on either side of the rounded opening over there. It's definitely got this convex shape to it like a dome on the top. Could that be a craft or is that like a dome shaped structure? It's definitely lifted off the one side. Over here you can see from the shadow and over there too Definitely looks as if uh, slightly elevated to the left hand side. It's very similar in design to that depiction of disc shaped craft. Next anomaly right there in the center again about 10 by 10 meters and uh, up close we can see it consists of what looks like a rounded disc shape the ridge line running through the center over there and this rectangular part sticking out in the center and then this looks like a little winglet over there and uh, possibly another one on that side that broke off also some symmetry and geometry to that design as well so slightly elevated on the left looks as if uh, that has some intelligent design to it then we've got two very similar rounded objects that look like pull boxes very similar in shape these measure about 8 meters in diameter those uh, protrusions on top measuring about 1 to 2 meters across if we zoom up close we can see both of these have got rounded shapes to them, similar size, and then in the centers of both, we've got these protrusions. That there looks like a rectangular opening, perhaps. Very similar to pull boxes we find on Earth from World War I. And there's another one of those that are found on Mars in that high rise image. There's another one of these pull box shaped objects. This one's also about six to eight meters in diameter. And the little protrusion on top is about two meters in diameter. But this looks almost like it could be a little disc, a little dome on it. Could that be a little craft that's uh, parked in the center of what looks like a metallic plate or base with these rounded corners to it. Could that be a little ventilation cap? Another piece of uh, what looks like metal plate on the side. Yeah, we've got straight edges to it. Right angle, rounded corner. Check out the smooth flat surface on this object over here. 
Another one of those, this one's about eight meters in diameter as well. There's another one over there. Got uh, two objects interlocking to the right hand side over here. There's just too many anomalies to cover them all in this video. So I do encourage you, if you can, to download this photograph and check it out in high view. So let's zoom up close to the center of this image. And we've got that disc shaped object, very flat, smooth surface. On the center, we've got that protrusion. And then uh, to the side here, we've got, it looks like, a rectangular object with this piece coming off the center. Then on the right hand side, we've got what looks like mangled wreckage. We've got three pieces sticking off this one side. Similar shape, similar size. And uh, also the gap is very similar in shape and size as well. Looks like some type of metal debris over here. And then we're looking at these objects to the right. Up close we can see this piece sticking up out of the Martian surface. It's got some geometry and symmetry to it as well. Got two rounded sides coming up to an apex over there. It's almost like it could be some type of metal plate perhaps. And there we've got another one of those very smooth flat objects with a little dome Another rather strange object over here. It looks like a little hole with something coming out of it. This measures about 6 meters across by about 14 meters long. And uh, as I say, it's got this, it looks like a hole over here with this part either coming out of it or partially covering it. Check the shadow over here that's being cast. And then uh, it continues over the side over here. This be an opening perhaps. It looks almost as if there's smoke or something like that coming out of this hole. Pure speculation, I know. It does look rather odd. We've got this massive object over there, measuring about 15 meters across. And uh, up close, smooth, flat surface. And this little pyramidal feature right there in the center. It's another similar object over here. This one's a little bit bigger. This one measures about 18 meters across. And what's strange about this one is the protrusion on top is leaving a long, narrow, rectangular shadow. Could that be a type of a ventilation system as well? Or like a pillbox design, have an opening over there. It's rounded to the right hand side. And then over there we've got a little dome. That measure is about a meter in diameter. Another weird setup going on over here in the center of this image. And uh, this rounded protrusion measures about five meters across. And uh, you can see that could be the top of an opening. But look at the piece running underneath here. It's almost like bent metal plate. Could this be one solid object? It's been bent. Here we've got straight edges and then uh, also coming off at a very similar angle. 
cut these two pieces. This almost looks like it could be a rounded opening as well, similar to this one. And then over here, towards the bottom right, we've got some more ports. Check out the smooth, narrow side running through there. And then on top, we've got these two parts sticking out. Another sort of half moon shaped object over here. This thing's got a diameter of about 15 meters. And up close, you can see a protrusion right there in the center in this rounded shape to it. Now we're looking at this crescent shaped object over here, which is about 12 meters in diameter and also on the center of this the partial disc shaped object, we've got a symmetrical sort of cone shape to it with an opening over here, that little triangular part sticking out of the opening. It looks almost as if uh, there's a piece missing over here. If you compare it to this little part that might have been present over there as well, but it's broken off. Megalithic block in the center of this image, measuring about 10 by 10 meters. And uh, you can see it's got some depth to it straight edges with a right angle over here and then a smaller piece very similar in shape towards the back center over there also has some depth to it two very similar shaped blocks on top of each other there and then this piece very blurry part of the photograph we've got a couple of lines running through here it looks almost like some type of energy field that's uh, bending the light check at these straight lines running through here we've got one two three four and then a fifth one over here could this be distortion caused by an energy field perhaps but check out this object over here measure is about 15 meters long by about 8 meters wide and uh, there's some symmetry got three parts sticking off to the left and uh, these two outer ones got a similar size to them and then the smaller one right there in the center. So, rather strange object. Natural boulder? I don't think so. Yeah, we got another partial hexagon shaped object with a pot on top. That one measures about 12 by 12 meters. We zoom in, we've got a very straight edge running through there. And on this side, that one running through there at 45 degree angle. And then another rounded part on top, casting that round shadow. And then check out that V shape over there, like a delta shaped. Maybe it's a glyph or a part lying on top of that here we've got an 8 meter diameter dome and if we zoom in you can see it's definitely rounded it's got this convex shape to it shows signs of erosion here we've got a very unusual object measuring about 15 by 12 meters and uh, zoomed in got a very dark area to this one side could that be a hole with this 
narrow rectangular part coming off the surface, sticking up into the Martian atmosphere over there. There's a smaller part next to it with straight edges. A little dome right there in the center as well. We get the distortion of the image here again. We've got uh, four lines going through here. This is some type of energy field that's causing this distortion. Bright object over here measuring about 8 by 5 meters, straight edges to it, smooth flat surface and on top got two dark parts to it. Don't know what that could be, that's very very unusual as well. Another triangular piece of here measuring about 5 by 8 meters. Check out that straight edge to it over there. Looks almost as if this could be a rectangular opening from the shadow that's being cast. And then here in the center, a triangular part with a hole right there as well. In this crop we're looking at uh, this object over there which is about 14 meters across. Check at this rounded shape and a uh, straight edge to it over there and then this long narrow conical feature. This object's about 12 meters long and the little protrusion on that is about two meters in diameter. So a rounded side to it. Symmetry and geometry in this design as well. And then in the center, a little round protrusion. And then off to the left. Another strange object with very straight edges. And then this part over here with a protrusion on it as well. So following the center line through those two objects. Another very symmetrical object right there, about 8 by 8 meters. And uh, on the surface, we've got two similar protrusions. Check at that. What are the odds of that happening in nature? Another one of those objects, this one's a little bit bigger and uh, it's also got two protrusions running through the center over there as well. So let's go over to the Mars tool in Google Earth and check out these anomalies as well as some others in the region. Go down to Ulysses Rupes. And uh, this is the region that we analyzed. So just quickly an overview of the anomalies we found there. Check out that dome crescent shaped object there. Another crescent shaped object over here, another one there. Very unusual to see that geometry and symmetry there. Well, dome. Check at those two, almost identical. A little half moon object there and then two with uh, two protrusions on them. Rather odd. Okay, yeah we found check at that looks almost like a piece of metal plate. This object with an opening in it. 
objects like mangled metal debris. There's another metal plate there. These pieces. A very narrow part sticking out here. Yeah? More mangled stuff over here to get these straight edges and right angles in that. But that looks like a hole with these coverings removed. Hexagon shape and this odd piece of yeah, the hole in it, and uh, two smaller parts on top to get those parallel supporting pillars or columns there. These small pyramidal features all over this region. To get that, another crescent shaped object, square metal plate, perhaps, rectangular metal plate, triangular metal plate. Hexagon shape there again. One more. There's another one of those domes. Similar in shape and size. Very unusual. That looks like some type of sculpture perhaps. That there as well looks very, very strange. I think that's it for this video. Don't want to keep you too long. For those of you that joined my channel recently, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. And to my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you for supporting my work. I'll be back soon with more from Mars. Until then, bye-bye for now.